Hi, my name is Nick, and we'd like to thank you for purchasing the Rackstar's Hobelina bed rack. Today, we're gonna to show you how to install it on a Toyota Tacoma. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do when we open the box is make sure everything is there. Uh, we'll start with the hardware. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you have 39 stainless steel bolts with 39 washers, 39 lock washers, and 39 nuts. Six of the uh, square nuts, which are gonna go inside the track of the Tacoma. And then we want to make sure that we have six of the hex bolts that are going to go into these guys with six washers as well. We're going to want to make sure that you have six of the towers, one of the backbones, three of the crossbars, and two of the molly panels. So the tools you're going to need to install the Hobelina are a 3 16 hex key. Uh, we prefer to put it on a ratchet. It'll make it, make it go much faster. Uh, a half inch wrench, if you can get a ratcheting or a gear wrench, again, it'll make it much faster. And then a half inch socket and a 9 16 socket. Step number one is pre-assembly of the rack. You're gonna need two of the towers, one of the crossbars, six bolts, six nuts, six washers, and six lock washers. So we're gonna take the two towers, flip them like this, and we're going to put them in the crossbar like this. You're gonna take your bolts with the washer and slide it through the side on each one of the sides. The lock washer always goes to the nut side. And we're just gonna wanna get this hand tight because it's gonna to need to be adjusted on the vehicle. Okay, once you've got those four in, you can put it on its side like this and insert these through the top. The same way you did the other ones, just through the top like that lock washer on the other side, nut, and then hand tight. So the next two steps are gonna be exactly the same. We're gonna want three of these complete. Just remember to not tighten them completely. You want them hand tighted because we have to adjust it on the vehicle. So now that we have all three of these assembled, it is time to go to the truck. We're going to insert the square nuts into the track. So we're gonna remove the cap from the track. It's super easy. You just press down and slide out. You're gonna take the nuts. The bigger side is gonna face the outside of the truck and it just slides right in. Three per side. Once they're inserted, you'll take your cap and just slide it right back on. And now do the same thing on the other side. So now you're gonna wanna adjust these to how wide your truck is. Uh, that's why we did not tighten them all the way. So we usually go pretty far out, set it on the truck and move it inwards. You're gonna slide the square nuts into place and you're gonna take your 9 16th hex bolt with the washer and hand tighten them. And now we're gonna do it two more times. Again, slide your T-nut. These don't have to go in a specific place yet. We just wanna get them on the vehicle. And once we install the backbone and the molly panels, those will actually determine where it sits. So now we're gonna install the molly panels. You'll need nine bolts, washers, lock washers, and nuts. Place the molly panel up here, start at the end, and just insert your bolts with the washers, but don't tighten anything till you get them all in, because you're gonna have to adjust the rack a little bit to get them to all the fit in properly. Now once you have all nine of them in, the lock washer goes on the other side, then the nut. Do not tighten them all the way. We want them to be hand tight so we can do some more adjustments. And now do you do the same thing on the other side. And now for the final piece, the backbone on top. So this guy, 
just goes directly in the middle here and you're gonna use your re remaining bolts and washers and nuts and secure it. So now that the rack is assembled, you can place it where you like along the tracks. On a short bed, there's not gonna be a whole lot of room, but you're gonna to wanna to remove it from the front of the vehicle if you're putting a rooftop tent on it. Now it's time to tighten the rack. Start with the track mounts, which are the bolts down here, and work your way up. You wanna get it pretty snug, but don't over tighten because you will bend the washer and eventually the metal and the track on the Tacoma. So now that the towers and molly panels are secure, we're gonna adjust the backbone and the crossbars. We're gonna want them to be even on each side. Okay, I'm three and a half, so just slide this top piece just a tad over. These don't have to be perfect. In fact, you don't even have to do this if you don't want to. It just looks nicer that way. I'm at one and a quarter. Now that each side is even, you can tighten the whole rack down. And there you have it, a Rackstar's Javelina installed on the Toyota Tacoma. Please feel free to call us or get a hold of us through our website at rackstars.com. If you have any questions, we got you covered. Yeah.